Welcome back to the road to Emmaus. We have already seen that these two disciples were going towards the sunset. I was constantly telling you yesterday that they were missing an enthusiastic faith. Today's reflection will be on the point of the enthusiastic faith. This faith is actually contagious. If you miss it, it is contagious. If you hold it, it is contagious. With the faith that they had, if you only start lighting it to others, others, then it is going to burn again. For example, this faith is like a spark. You can actually light others with your spark and they start burning. I'll give you an example in the, in the book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. There was the event of Pentecost and after the Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit fell on the Apostles, Peter stood up and started talking. And Peter is that contagious, enthusiastic faith. When this contagious, enthusiastic faith started talking to those people who were around, there were so many and they asked Peter, what are we to do? And when Peter replied and Peter answered them, what has to be done? It is at this time that they all, that is around 3,000 of them, were baptized in the name of Jesus. Therefore, this faith is contagious. And if you miss this contagious faith, I'm sure it is very, very difficult for us to fall back in line into this enthusiastic faith. Once this is lost, it is very, very difficult to come back. And with regard to this enthusiastic faith, the author of the letter to the Hebrews says, letter to the Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 4 to 8, for it is impossible to restore again to repentance those who have once been enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have shared in the Holy Spirit and have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come and then have fallen away since on their own they are crucifying again the Son of God and are holding him up to contempt. Ground that drinks up the rain falling on it repeatedly and that produces a crop useful to those for whom it is cultivated receives a blessing from God. Many brothers and sisters in Christ, therefore, this faith is contagious. I do not know that you still hold on to this enthusiastic faith. There are so many who have already lost this faith. A few days back, I met a very known person of mine in one of the parishes and he told me, Father, I'm sorry, I am no longer practicing your religion. I asked him, what happened? He said, churches are shut. No one is available. Therefore, what is the use of believing in God? He asked me. If Corona can close down your churches, that means God doesn't exist. Corona is more powerful than God himself. These are the words he said. My friends, if this missing faith is contagious, maybe it should have spoiled me also. But it didn't spoil me. That missing enthusiastic faith, he lost it. I have not yet lost it. That is burning bright again in me, which I want to pass it on to you. Take it and live by it and spread it to others. God bless you.